An elderly couple by the names of Evelyn and Arthur lived in a charming village tucked away amid gently sloping terrain and fragrant grasslands. Although they had enjoyed each other's company for the first 14 years of their marriage, they yearned for a child to complete their family. Despite their unwavering love, the society they lived in, unable to understand their unmet dream of parenthood, cast doubt on their happiness. Hi, welcome to Dare Influencer. Do you want to start a YouTube channel and you want to create awesome, outstanding story videos for your channel like the one you've just watched? If the answer is yes, then stick along with me as I'll be going and guiding you through the step-by-step -step on how you can create the entire video like the one you've just watched using the help of AI tools. Without wasting much of the time, let's get started. So in creating every video like the one you've watched, we'll need things like a story for the video, a voiceover, and images like the one you've just watched. So we use the help of AI to create the entire video. So to create our script in today's video like the one you've just watched, we're going to use the help of ChatGPT. So we'll go to ChatGPT, we'll ask ChatGPT to create us a story. Now I want you to observe the way I have written my prompts. Uh, in chat gpt you can do it the similar way or you can do it your own style but if you love to follow along with the way i've done it it is a uh, fine and to ask chat gpt to create me a romantic fairy tale of love stories of two old couple who never had a child for 14 years and down here on my prompt i've included some scenes that i want to see in this uh, uh story about two of them so that it gives out that captivating interesting story for your viewers i'll click on enter this is very interesting and very awesome now the other thing i would love to do is to rephrase uh my story and to rephrase my story i'll use the help of Quibord. this is the rephrasing tool that we use to rephrase our story so I'll just go to chat gpt and copy the story again then i'll paste my story on keyboard so i'll ask a uh, keyboard to rephrase or to paraphrase the story rather and once you come to keyboard there are a number of 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 things you can uh, pay attention to like the modes of 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 the like the modes of your script so it is set to standard which is the default setting you can choose uh it to be fluent or you can choose formal or academic or if it's simple or it's creative or you would ask cubot to expand it for you or shorten it for you i'll leave it to standard and i'd love to change some of the words which are here like these words if i would love to change any of these words i'll click here i'll select this one i'll change this word select this one so this is how you can paraphrase your your story and if if you love what you see you can click on copy that's if you are you are you're okay with the entire paraphrasing you can click on copy text then your text will be copied the other thing would ask chat gpt will be writing the prompts for us so that we can generate the images using the help of another ai too so now that chat gpt has finished creating prompts for us we use the help of leonardo.ai leonardo.ai to generate our images so I'll go to chat gpt I'll, I'll copy the first prompt Go back to leonardo.ai and i'll paste in and ask it to create to generate now before you ask the, you ask it to generate there are a number of things i want you to pay attention to number one is the number of images that you want to generate is it one image per prompt are they is it two images per prompt or three or four you can select so for today's video we'll select three per prompt and here on the image dimension we we'll select this one which is 1024 by 768 then once you do all the settings we'll click on generate excellent we have our outstanding images for our video we'll go back to chat gpt and we'll copy the next prompt and we'll keep on repeating this process until we finish with all our prompts this is very interesting. Now that we've managed to generate our images, the other thing I'd love you to do is to download your images into your laptop so that you can now convert them into 3D video. So just click on the download button. Download this one. And this one. After finishing downloading all my images, I'll go to Leapix Converter. So on Leapix Converter, this is where we're going to generate our 3D videos. 
when we land on this dashboard it says click plus to upload an image and start generating it into a 3d video so click on the plus button and we'll select our video our image right so select the first one and i'll click on open and i'll wait for it to be generated this is awesome we'll click on the back button and we'll click on the share so that we can download it on our laptop and we'll click on mp4 and we'll click on save we will repeat the entire process until we finish with all of our images this is wonderful now that we've managed to create our 3d videos the other thing I would love us to do is to download a background music. There are a lot of sites you can go to and download copyright free background music. For today's video, we use Pixabay. I'll go to pixabay.com and I will type in a love story because the soundtrack I want is that one which is matching the love story that we've created. I'll come here where it says all images and I'll select music. And boom, we have all these tracks that we can download and put in our in our our story or our video. So you can listen to them and download the one you feel like will suit your your your, your video. After that, we need now to convert or to generate a voiceover. To do that, we use descript.com. Once you have landed on descript.com, Go to where it says Drive Workspace and create a new audio project. And here you need to add in your title. So go to your story. If you do not have a title, you can ask ChatGPT to write you one. Great, ChatGPT has written the story for us. We'll just copy it and go back to Descript. We will paste our title here. Great. Now here, this is where we need to add our script. So I'll copy my paraphrase, the script. I'll not copy the one I have on ChatGPT, but I'll copy the one I've paraphrased, copy. And I'll go back to Descript, and I'll paste my script here. And here where it says a speaker, click on speaker, and scroll down to stock images. So, sorry, to stock voices. So here on stock voices, you can choose any you would love to. I'll choose Nicholas. Once I've chosen Nicholas, I'll click on Nicholas again, and here where there is an arrow, I'll choose the tone that Nicholas must use. I'll choose neutral. This is very exciting. This is very interesting. So I'll wait for it to convert my audio, and I'll download my audio to my PC. This is very interesting and very awesome. The other thing I'll do is check uh, which speed must I prefer or stick to the first one so once you have your audio go to where it says publish export choose to mp3 and export save my story audio there the last part will be now putting all these pieces of the pie together so that we can have that outstanding awesome YouTube video for our channel so to edit our video we use CapCut and here on CapCut, just download it on your on your PC or on your phone. It all depends with where you're using it, but you can download it on your PC or on your on your on your phone or click on new project. And just like any other editing software, you need to import your media. I'll import my media. Go to where my media is. I'll select my entire media. I'll click on open. Voila, our media has been imported here. So what I want to do is to drag my i'll drag i'll start with with my my audio i'll drag my audio here and i'll begin placing my my videos on top of my me great this is awesome now that i've managed to drag and drop my media on my timeline the other thing i'll do is to add some transition so I'll go here where it says transition and I'll play with these transitions so that I have that outstanding, awesome video for our channel. After I've managed to add all my transition, I can play with my adjustment, my filters, or my effects here. But I'll not do all that for the sake of time on this video. So the other part is I'll add some text. And I'll add... I'll come here where it says auto caption and I'll click on it and I'll create add auto caption. So it is loading and adding auto caption for our our video. 
boom it has managed to add caption for our video the last thing i would love us to do is to edit our caption so that it gives us that glowing awesome caption that we need so you can resize or you can come here to to choose the font size increase the size a bit to here and we'll choose the the font select this one and we'll click on caption and here we'll edit all our media the other thing apart from editing our text here on caption I'll go back to text and I'll scroll down to choose a, a preset style for our our text choose this one let's scroll down a little bit we can scale this up and resize it and we can scroll down and we can play with the color of the stroke here and the thickness the, the thickness of the stroke and we can also play with the the background we want a shadow and here we can play with the opacity the shadow this is very interesting now the other thing I'd love us to add is our background music okay we'll drag our music to our timeline like this and cut our music up to there we'll click on the music and we will reduce the volume of our music so that it doesn't exceed our voice great this is very interesting we've just done a few tricks and a few editings nothing complicated the other thing we love to do is to export our video so we'll just click on export and here we'll rename our title we'll just say love and we'll click on export if you want you can export the audio as well if you wouldn't love let me just remove it and i'll click on export